Hi, Vikati. Hi, Tisha. Hi, everyone. Welcome to Bozi Bozi. Eh? Uh, we are in the studio. One more time. One more time. So it's very uh, different, awkward. I can like talk to Tisha like that. Yeah, and she keeps commenting on my hair as well, which yeah. is uh, yeah, anyway. annoying. Anyway, so as I'm in the studio, I'm like, 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 So we are very thankful uh, to all our business authorities. So today we have with us uh, Sangeeta Tebe Limbu. A lot of our listeners might be aware of our work because we've shared, you know, some of the op-eds that she has written. Um, I remember reading one op-ed that was written by Sangeeta, Kalpana, Abha. Um, did I miss anyone on the about uh, citizenship and, and sort of Nepali feminisms and uh, <clears throat> the problem of inclusion in Nepali feminisms, maybe? Um, she is currently a PhD candidate at UCL, University College London. She holds an MSc in Social Anthropology from the University of Oxford, another MSc in Gender Development and Globalization from the London School of Economics and Political Science. She's currently um, researching on the interrelations of gender, climate change, and ind- indigenous knowledge. In Nepal, my God, Sangeeta, you really packed in all of like the world's best universities <laughs> in your bio. <laughs> Welcome to Bozuwaze. Mas, thank you so much. Thank you, Rikuti. Thank you, Itisha. Uh, really good to be here. <laughs> so, uh, you know, in the seven years that we, we've been doing the podcast, um, we haven't quite done like a very focused episode around climate change, especially in the context of Nepal, right? And your research just sounds so interesting because you're looking at intersections of gender, um, climate change, but also indigenous knowledge. Can you talk a little bit about your research? Uh, Yeah, sure. Um, So uh, my background is in social sciences. So the way I am studying climate change is not so much from, um, you know, um, physical sciences or natural sciences perspectives, but it's looking more from uh, social sciences, which means looking at the social dimensions. I know, and what that means is about climate change. Like, say, how do we understand in a discursive manner, discourse ko level ma kosto climate change as a term le kosto kisim ko meanings or create kari rasa? What does it enable people to do? Mm-hmm. How? Is it being conceptualized? How is it being utilized? Ani not just at a discursive conceptual level, ma matroi na ki climate change ko na ma ako funding orule. I know what does how are those funding being utilized? How are those um, policies being made through which these funding are being utilized? So two lens but as a aligiti malik climate change la idi das who so bringing like gender uh, indigenous ko indigenous knowledge in particular ko lens but that's it about uh, gender or climate change ma again you know there has been so much written already on this how mm-hmm. climate change is going to exacerbate gender inequalities I know kina bani about climate change le pony impact aru resources are shortages like the prime example the name water shortages this ma usually women are responsible for you know carrying water ani ghar ma uni fuel aru ko arrangements aru I know they they bear a lot of household chores co responsibility. So a lot has been said about how climate change is going to exacerbate gender relations, um, unequal gender relations. A lot has been said about how it might um, increase uh, gender-based violence. So climate change lies in multiplier effect group my in the gender ko context ma now when it comes to indigenous knowledge and indigeneity ko kura ma say we have to look at ipcc report uh, 2014 so ipcc bani ko say intergovernmental panel on climate change mm-hmm. it's a very influential body ani once any every 5 years 4 to 5 years ma they produce a report you know on this ma say ipcc uh, 2014 ko report ma say it sort of mentions about the importance of recognizing indigenous knowledge. Mm-hmm. So this part is there has been all this proliferation of, you know, trying to understand indigenous knowledge, how it will complement uh, scientific knowledge. On Sunday, it's also about climate change, ma'am, weather or observe gori rako on some. So it's about looking at how indigenous communities, let's say, your weather or like monitor gone on, so weather or like understand gone on, so long term changes are like known, so money, it's how you discourse. So, 
ब्रिंगिंग ऑल अफ दिज टुगेदर इट्स काइंड अफ कम्प्लेक्स क्योंकि एक किसिम के साइलो वे में डिस्कसन भैर एंड अल्ले रिसर्च कर आई कैन सी लाइक क्लाइमेट चेंज को हू आर टकिंग अबाउट हू आर द एक्टर्स हू आर टकिंग अबाउट क्लाइमेट चेंज हू आर द एक्टर्स हू आर टकिंग अबाउट जेंडर एंड क्लाइमेट चेंज हू आर द एक्टर्स हू आर टकिंग अबाउट क्लाइमेट चेंज एंड इंडिजिनेटी है सो दे आर क्वाइट डिस्टिंक्ट सो अल्ले को रिसर्च में आई एम सर्ट अफ लुकिंग एट ओवरलैप्स कहाँ छ एंड एज पार्ट अफ माई केस स्टडीज आई एम फोकसिंग मोर अन रिवर्स रिवर लाइक हेरी रहु लाइक uh yeah particularly as a case study as an observer and you've over, you've already mentioned that you know you've sort of identified the different actors and how these actors are sort of working in different intersections maybe um <clears throat> what about general public consciousness mate eh? what sort of conversations are happening around climate change and what is sort of the most urgent or immediate visible impact that perhaps people should be aware of in the context of Nepal but they're not uh you tell me immediate observation when i started um i started my field work in may 2022 mm. we are in 2023 yeah. really. <laughs> um so i started in may 2022 ani tya bata aile samay herda chai one of my first observations um was that climate change is sort of considered as a very specialist technical right. field mm. So I don't hear much about climate change but I hear more about disasters. Right. Mm-hmm. So people have experience <coughs> of or people have heard of floods, landslides, mm-hmm. you know, to kurar. So so to context ma chai disaster ko rup ma chai auncha like you know to localize banum na localize Nepal ko context ma ki relevant ho ta banda chai disaster ko vocabulary use karnu bhayera they describe the experiences or so mm-hmm. understanding whereas climate change is sort of considered as more sort of an external discourse mm. in a sense that climate change could discourse ma say nepal becomes um, a victim i know or nepal becomes mm. a country that had no part to play in climate change yet it is facing those impacts right. so mm. in that sense all the externalize got in term tara bote le ki bhayira so the impacts right like why is it important then regardless panda say mm. disaster go through what as i see more expressions of you know why it is important like you know why these issues might be important mm-hmm. um so to that general observations are i think at the heart of it is how do we communicate uh climate change and its related impacts you know about again there's all the i see a wave of storytelling nice how you know how do we tell climate change go stories in a way that is accessible relatable to people but is my i see like two trends in particular one is क्लाइमेट चेंज कसरी एक्सेसिबल बनाने तेस में बुक आई रहस में लोकल लैंग्वेजेस में अथवा इंडिजिनियस लैंग्वेजेस में स्थानीय व्यक्ति था होने गरी स्थानीय स्तर में रहोक पोलिटिकल रेप्रेजेंटेटिवस हु कैन मेक एन इंपैक्ट वहाँ था होने गरी कसरी हम एक्सेसिबल वे में यह इन्फर्मेशन डिसमिनेट कर सकता आई सी अ लॉर अफ इनिशिएटिवस अराउंड दैट है पब्लिकेशन्स और टेलिंग स्टोरीज इन अ बेटर वे एंड इन एन एक्सेसिबल वे एवं ट्रेंड से टू मेक इट मोर रेलिवेन्ट टू पीपल um in the everyday context any local examples are really there or good trend that i see is um i will draw this upon your recent experience mm-hmm. you say i'm um, romatin so that ma'am the youth on uh, climate change yeah. youth activism on climate change when you that discussion got at you and it has one of the speakers tashi lozum like she said um, you know she raised a very important issue that i've been hearing a lot in different spheres as well and that is climate change like we almost start uh any sort of conversation exana or nab saudari le pani uthaunu mathi yo kura te discussion ma that we almost start about climate change as if people have no idea what it is mm. i know but people do have idea <coughs> you know people do can see the impacts or they might articulate it in different ways but people do have some idea so you would say let's not start from the premise that they know nothing or mm. or could say of a climate change i mean because we describe gorsa mada you know we talk about carbon emissions i know we talk yeah. about greenhouse effect we talk about um the pollutions or kukura air pollution in particular uh any temperature rise or kukura so um so and then you know the whole sort of um uh different systems how they are interlinked hydrology cryosphere oceanosphere it's filled with your technical uh, mm. terms or usani so this must be tashi likhi bhannu bhathyo bari where is this definition coming from mm. i know like how do we 
talk about uh, how do we define, um, how do we talk about climate change in a way that is more accessible to people. Yeah. Like Unsen, that sort of takes the local understanding as well, what's mm. happening. And, you know, she talked about her own village, which is right on the path of, um, you know, Glacier Lake mm. outburst flood, if the Glacier Lake is going to burst. And it's, I think, just a few kilometers away from the village. So it's called Spain Gordahiri. That sort of very top-down definition does not work. Yeah. So she's thinking about, you know, how do we communicate in a very local way you mm-hmm. know, to make it accessible. So I see that two trend. It does a boy kid discourse like also the accessible one only or go how do we sort of start thinking about definitions from yeah. the ground up. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I just remember when you're talking about your the science communicate gone it dome garo unsa because topile bhanu bhaya jastai it's like aba yo jargon heavy unsa hain and of course all the conversations are happening in english yeah. largely uh, ma nepal times and gorda hari mm-hmm. i went to uh, everest base camp mm-hmm. nojike to report on you know what was happening to the communities there mm-hmm. and then the entire focus was on this paper on black carbon and i had to write <laughs> around it about the emissions ko bare ma hain aba tera Nepali ma translate gone out like there was no way I could have done it like without losing the essence of the piece which is around black carbon and hamro emissions or so that is something I think I think that also impacts yeah. how people understand or to um it doesn't affect us banda pani to your conversation uh, there is like a distance okay, for mm. people to make mm. sense um so yeah in like you mentioned earlier also uh, you know there's now um a growing um के भन्ने लाइक सपोर्ट भन्दा पनि ग्रोइङ निड टु टक अबाउट इन्डिजिनियस नलेज वेन यू वेन यू टकिङ अबाउट क्लाइमेट चेन्ज होइन अनि आई रिमेम्बर यू नो इन वान अफ द आर्टिकल्स दैट यू रिटर्न सर्वेलेन्स स्टेट एन्ड माइनोरिटिज यू टक अबाउट हाउ यू एन्ड यू कोलिग एट स्टार्ट एट दिस आदिवासी जनजाति पब्लिक डिस्कसन सिरिज होइन त्यसको चाहिँ क्यान यू टक अ लिटल बिट अबाउट वाई यू गाइज वाई वाज इट that um you started something like this and also the the incident know, yeah, the, yeah the the, the, the incident. i got really freaked out yeah. as well and, and, and then what happened article. after that and <laughs> to talk about anything indigenous is very political you know it's mm-hmm. very uh unsen it's shrouded in surveillance okay? like you should not talk about it or say you know samvidhan or icq like you know this is not the right time to talk about <laughs> it uh you ek the main साम्प्रदायिक हुन्छ यु नो त्यो युजुअल आर्ग्युमेन्ट सो एक किसिमले चाहिँ इन्डिजिनिटीको बारेमा टक गर्ने बित्तिकै एकदम सेन्सिटिभ हुन्छ भन्ने कन्टेक्स थियो अहिले पनि आई फाइन्ड द्याट अ लट होइन सो इन्टरभ्यूजहरू गर्दा पनि अब यु नो इट्स इट्स अ भेरी सेन्सिटिभ टपिक भन्ने आउँछ क्या जहिले पनि सो हामीले चाहिँ वेन वी स्टार्ट एड वी सर्ट अफ वान्टेड टू टक मोर अबाउट पोलिटिक्स पनि आउँछ तर लेट्स टक अबाउट आवर कल्चर हिस्ट्री होइन लिटरेचर ल्याङ्ग्वेज पोएट्री भन्ने हिसाबले पनि एक हिसाबले चाहिँ यो यो डिस्कोर्स सेन्सिटिभ छ यसलाई अझै हुन्छ नि लेट्स लेट्स ट्राई टु नर्मलाइज इट लाइक लेट्स किप टकिङ अबाउट दस भन्ने तरिकाले चाहिँ स्टार्ट भएको थियो um so the incident that um that you both mentioned and you normally the surveillance um state and minorities mal he ko so uh that happened in july 2017 um so bakram le launch kara thyo your discussion series adivasi janjati discussion series ani am the first event ma je amle char jana speakers ala bola thyo and it was we started with the analysis of the movement mm-hmm. so once any let's do a stock take on the movement what worked what didn't bani tarika le kara thyo ani so what What happened was that um, so right before we were about to begin, banda bani sabai jana tiyo assemble bhai ra ko awasna ma jay a uniformed police officer uh, walked into uh, the seminar hall, Martin South Arikuma, and he started uh, interrogating Rukdai and me about the event and Rukdai was responding. I was a bit shocked but Rukdai responded to his queries. Ani Bhati as um, guests were filtering through ma le se ki bani ba bani bai ra South Arikuma gate bai ra to duiti nota police officer ban sa त्यहाँ भन्नु भएको थियो अनि लेटर आई लर्न द्याट हाम्रो रिसेप्सनमा बस्ने बहिनीले स्टाफ मेम्बरले चाहिँ भन्नु भएको थियो बिहान अनि फोन आएको थियो अनि पछि इन्क्वारी भएको थियो लाइक वट दिस इभेन्ट इज अबाउट भनेर सो आई फेल लाइक इट जस्ट जुन त्यो सेन्सिटिभिटीको कुराहरू मान्छेले गर्न थियो इट जस्ट शो द्याट हुन्छ नि एक हिसाबले अनि अरू अब हाम्रो गेस्टहरूको रेस्पोन्सेस वाज लाइक यु नो इट्स सर्ट अफ नर्मल यस्तै छ होइन नेपालमा त्यस्तो छ अनि अर्को चाहिँ अब या मार्टिन चौतारीको टक्सहरूमा मान्छेहरू आइरहा हुन्छ पिपल कम इन लाइक अन्डर कभर उसमा त्यो मोनिटरहरू गर्न लाइक यु नो एन्ड दिस इज हुन्छ नि सो त्यस्तो किसिमको एन्भाइरोमेन्ट थियो विच 
for I think it sort of really annoyed me, you know. Igdomi Malay rage back with you. That's why I wrote your surveillance surveillance state and minorities ko piece. So it came from like a lot of rage. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So I mean had that happened before, not in terms of plain clothes or uniformed officer entering Martin Sotariko talk? That was my first experience. Yeah. Okay. And that has been the only experience so mm-hmm. far. But mm-hmm. that was my first experience. Any other event or mamoli koi lepan this to the hai saina. I mean, here like you know, since 2017, and now like I've attended lots of events on sani to utha. But I've never seen such things ever. Yeah. Like on sani to to incident was very unique for me. Yeah, I was also quite shocked because, yeah. uh, like you said, a lot of these. Issues are considered sensitive, and okay, it's go bad. I'm a dear, kura na gorom. And like you said, um, at least yo noya samvidan lekhan suru man. The agadi che Nepal che ekdom hi we are a happy place. Um, as soon as you talk about rights of the marginalized communities, say yo yo sampradayik <clears throat> that the moment you talk about it is. Is that is when yo ekdom saaja happy full body ma chai aba kitanu lagcha jasto type ko thyo tara just to follow up on like you said tyo rage timle tapai le bhannu bhayo ni which sort of and the first time i think you were um, uh, correct me if i'm wrong tara the state sanga directly thokieko because of your work was it like the first time um realizing that what you are doing is being surveilled or or uh, it's in the radar to khalke back with for the first time oh uh, yes i think certainly no the, the the reason why i'm asking is this because <laughs> in your late in your other papers also and because the kind of research that you do you're constantly kunai na kunai rupma rajya sanga cha gar thokin chan ta prashna garda heri athawa bhanam na tapai policy ko bare ma garda athawa climate change like kasari bujincha yo sthaniya ta ma hai na so um, that uh, the 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 another piece you wrote about like national property of just a few like the policy making ko process ko thiko inclusive honcha hundaina mm. um when i was reading that and you, i think you were talking to a cdo or kunai uh, local level ko head sang kura garda hai chai the first question um, the way they look at you hai na uh, what what they perceive of who you are bhanne kura so tyo um tyo tyo padi rakda heri chai i was just um like how you how has your experience been like being a researcher trying to um explore these kind of issues you know and constantly having to be um like like your first Being source forced of... to interact with bound <laughs> hetrim <Yeah>. man <laughs> <laughs> that's what i'm trying to say because because i, I feel like mero understanding like you said अब हामी इङ्लिस मिडियम स्कुल पढेको सहरमा बसेको हुन्छ नि टाइप्स जनजाति महिला भए पनि त्यो आइडेन्टिटी हामीले कहिले पनि यु डोन्ट फुल्ली अन्डरस्ट्यान्ड लाइक व्हाट व्हाट बिइङ अ जनजाति वुमन इज इन दिस हाम्रो नेपाली यो चार जार छत्तीस वर्णको सुन्दर फुलबारीमा हैन एन्ड आई थिंक इट इज व्हेन यु इन्टरेक्ट विथ यस्तो खालके स्टेट बडीज अर पिपल हु हेड देम यु मेड अवेयर अबाउट द्याट आइडेन्टिटी एन्ड द वे दे लुक एट इट बिकज म हिजो सिन्धु जो गा थे यो भुइचालो को बारे में रिपोर्टिंग करना एंड द फर्स्ट थिंग दे आस्क इज इट्स अ वुमन जनजाति इन अ रूम फुल अफ बाउंड मेन एंड द फर्स्ट थिंग इज लाइक तल पर नानी कह घर नाम के भ्रिकुटी राय कह घर मेरे घर विराट नगर हो है दैट्स वाई ग्रू अप बट अभियली आई माई फैमिली कम्स फ्रम भोजपुर बट भोजपुर इज नट द फर्स्ट एंसर आई गिव ना आई विराट नगर लाइक कह हो विराट नगर को राय राय है विराट नगर में भोजपुर बो यहाँ मो गुन आई एम अड राय एनिवे जस्ट टू सी हाउ हाउ हेज योर इंटरक्शन बीन एंड हाउ हाउ डज दैट मेक यू फील अबाउट योर ओन आइडेन्टिटी Yeah, well, Miru Mati, I think it's an added layer, sir. So, uh, I don't know if you get this, Prakriti, but Miru Mati, initially people always assume that I'm a foreigner, mm. you know, mm. Chinese or, or uh, some oh, East yeah, Asian. Yeah, 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 yeah. I person, get that yeah, also I sometimes. So I get that a lot. Uh, <laughs> Are you so from in, Mongolia? <laughs> Are you from Mongolia? <laughs> um, Ani, uh, sometimes it helps as well. But it's just how you research court. That's I feel like, uh, Tita, you. Uh, कति धे पोजिशन्स अकुपाई कर एंड यू थिंक इन वन वे बट यू आर बिंग पर्सिव इन अनादर वे है बट रिसर्च में यू जस्ट डोन्ट जस्ट 
observe others you are being observed as well yeah. i know mm. so uh, i think ekdam multifaceted lagcha malai chai yo um, ani i think is my intersectionality pani auncha you know that the experience is very diverse mm. uh, ek hisab le bas suruma it always starts with curiosity like mm. where is this foreigner coming from <laughs> i know ani uh, then when i say my name ani my ethnicity and then of course like mali tyo mero paper ma pani lekheko chu about this embodying inside outside duality then mm. the next question is ghar kata ho nani ko thar se ki paryo ani dherai close hundai gayo athwa you know after uh, rap interview rap gare se ani bya bhay ki bhay na you know very common questions ani aile pani as i do ekdam common le auncha um aba isma se ekdam mix up because i think that um we can't do anything about how we look or mm-hmm. our positionality you know so then uh, we have to be aware about that um mero ki isma se as much as it sort of closes certain doors i guess in terms of um people are lay you know hit it up you know people are respondents are they are constantly doing their own analysis as well okay mala chai tei lagcha kati samma reveal garne kati samma reveal na garne haina yo manche ko position ke ho chan aile ko i think hamro aile ko nepal ko climate ma ta political context ma ta identity plays a big part jasto lagcha hai mala chai how you look haina tes ma chai it sort of people are they filter garnu huncha jab bhanni chai mero experience because what i feel is that when maile aile research gari randa chai especially wahar u janjati community ko hununcha bhane i find them alikiti candidly share garnu bha jasto feel huncha malai chai haina ani asi bhakhari pani euta interview garya thye ani sabai sakye pachi ani record bandh gare pachi chai ani wale malai ke ke bhanu bha bhane like you know henus tapai hami bhaneko ta nak thepche haru ho nak chutche ke haat ma sabai daado pani cha ani hamle ka bata paunchau ta jati bhanda pani bhannu huncha haina so i like those moments where you know I I I like those moments where people feel like at least they can share things candidly mm-hmm. you know ra um aba aru community ko bhanda pani I feel that um aru community ko members sang kura garda hari pani people who are committed to research mm-hmm. people who are committed to uh, alikati serious kaam garnu parcha bhanne ma chai I find them very like um open and yeah. very generous mm-hmm. with their time mm-hmm. you know so mm-hmm. I wouldn't like put sabai la euta box ma you know but uh, yeah like who you are it's definitely going to close some doors yeah. raise eyebrows or mm. it's also going to like you know spark those very honest raw mm. conversations mm. uh grievances or open suna painsa right yeah. so yeah. it's a mix of yeah it's a it's a mix of everything yeah, yeah. so t- talking about grievances i do want to ask you quickly about because this is something that you've touched on in sort of your writing generally you know um about affirmative action in mm-hmm. Nepal and the reservation uh the quota system and just sort of the backlash and also policy level key intervention pani yeah. like i second in the public sphere like this is what they're trying to do they're trying to sort of you know scrap um um they're trying to completely like review yeah. the amro affirmative action policy ne na so in your research saying what are the sort of um grievances that you have heard coming from bonunam bound chetri groups who are saying like hey why do we need this like yeah. it's all sorted now like we don't need any of this anymore um and what would your sort of and what would you say to people who are like so uh feel so threatened by affirmative action as a policy level intervention mm. about your grievances uh Uh, kukura garda and also like this sort of um negative attitude ne bhanu ga like the mild way ma mm-hmm. negative attitude towards like affirmative actions eh? um i think like it's not just uh like chhetri bahun matra hain i think it's more like janjati community har ma or even other community har ma pani hain uh i think to us ha like certain section of the population ma ha ani that's why i think like you all these um intersectionality is so important mm. okay you class relations your locations where you are what sort of opportunities were you given you mm. know this ko aadhar ma pani like you ekdam the meritocracy ko argument jun yeah. sani about affirmative action ko against ma we always bring meritocracy you know yeah. so who are bringing meritocracy banda se ekism ko privilege group wale ne meritocracy ko kura haru lyaunu huncha ke and who don't understand uh you know all the resources all the intergenerational asset or even ye generation ko bhai pani afni daddy mommy ko bhai pani a lot of you know these like intergenerational 
assets, resources that's flowing in to make them, mm. you know, to get them up to a stage where they're privileged enough yeah. once any, mm. uh, to sort of claim meritocracy. Mm. And I think meritocracy is very much intertwined with modernity quite Japanese. Okay? Mm-hmm. So meritocracy you know, is also part of being modern, mm. I think. Mm. So you kiss my say I think I see a lot of um caste ko kura pani aunsa, ethnicity ko kura pani aunsa, but class, your location also plays a big part. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I wouldn't say like specific community early, matter you bond. I don't think that's there. That it, it needs to be intersection of so many factors, mm-hmm. like so. Mm-hmm. Oni obo you black backlash i think it's inevitable just upon laksa i could not any progressive kura aru leuna ko lagi i mean you know whichever field whether it's like feminism ko kura hos whether it's like indigeneity whether it's um dalit ko kura hos whether it's madhesi group ko kura hos whether it's race anything right like whether it's sexuality ko kura hos there will always be backlash euta status quo khojne i think it's quite inevitable हाम्रो कन्टेक्समा चाहिँ आई फिल लाइक मलाई कसो लाग्छ भने इट्स इट्स अ बिट कम्प्लेक्स इन अ सेन्स दैट हाम्रोमा क्रिटिकल भोइसेसहरू लाइक मेन स्ट्रिम अब मेन स्ट्रिम भएपछि विल दे रिमेन अ क्रिटिकल भोइस भन्ने पनि क्वेसन छ आफैमा होइन तर हाम्रोमा चाहिँ क्रिटिकल स्पेसेसहरू कतिको छ भन्ने पनि छ होइन सो अल अफ अस कम थ्रू दिस भेरी नेसनलिस्ट एजुकेसन सिस्टम होइन फर मी आई वुड से आई बेनिफिटेड फ्रम द्याट सिस्टम भनौँ न एज लङ एज यू कुन फर्म टु इट राम्रो पढिरा छ राम्रो गरिरा छ फर अ वुमेन इफ यू आर क्वाइट एन्ड हुन्छ नि ओबेडियन्ट यू नो द्याट्स एक्स्ट्रा पोइन्ट फर यू होइन अनि त्यस्तो सिस्टमबाट आइरा छ सो this really generate bako mas ma je um it's very difficult to like uh, initiate conversations about uh, about difference about social inequalities mm. you know kosari bujne ta like what ekdam mm. beautiful garden ko concept is ha you know but then how then do we pro- yeah. how then do we make sense of these inequalities you know and plus of Uh, Theta, you subaltern histories are key. Kura garda, I know. Amro narrative ki unsa da? Like you mm-hmm. know, our it's almost like amro history started from Prithvi Narayan Shah, and as if nothing existed before then, <laughs> right? So it's like it is to garu sagi, and also I think. And and yeah and I think this is where sort of the uh, the dominance also comes in mm. you know I was just say bahun chetri atwa khasari dominated politics uh, media houses uh, you know uh, socio economic sphere so bani the where are where are the opportunities for this critical voices okay? mm, yeah. so do so be that's it I think like it's inevitable in like some I say you know to have these backlashes mm. uh thoro I think um what i because i also come from ek kism ko tyo huncha ni urban thau ma hurke ko ani english huncha ni boarding school ma ga ko ani afne like worry body eta pani i feel like it's very difficult to break this cloak of nationalism modernity and meritocracy okay? mm-hmm. there's so much unlearning to do and it's like where are the spaces to do these mm-hmm. things huncha ni at a at a at a chetri man's house <laughs> big big house no no i actually maile yo padi rakda kheri and while you also talking about this and we've talked about it in the past mm. also tyo oba hami esto spaces we are trying to create and we know like okay social media on certain corner ma we have those discussions tara tei kura in person like this keeps happening and it's very it's very difficult no to talk about to to code switch garna pani garo hune jasto mero maile pahila pani hamle sushma borali ji sanga interview garda heri what we realize is we are the only ones from our community in let's say um sane pako fancy town or whatever you want to call certain groups certain By locations we, you mean you and satish yeah so certain locations that is okay that's understood that this is only for certain class of people certain community so to thau ma ma jada heri che those people already assume i'm one of them bhanera ho pani hamro dherai level ma kura ab maru education dekhi liyera kati kura tara ab esto social justice ko kura garda especially ab yo job opportunities ko kura garda ekdam common ho ni hamro age ma o ke tumi ke gardai chau tumi ka jana layo so euta kura ai rakda heri che and i am the only janajati person in the room having to sort of um, I don't know break the gonna middle because in mm. their minds 
I think they don't realize the sort of like intergenerational privilege that that they have. Like for the fact that the for for four generations more than mm. that they've always lived near royal palace, Kathmandu ko, Oni Puri, Bosnia, Manchester. Now complaining about that because of my last name, I I don't get it. So yeah, but, but I worked so hard, hard for this. Like yeah. I worked so hard. Yeah, um, and um, which is uh, yeah. yeah, you you talk about how the the era patterns are from certain communities where the refusal to acknowledge the structural inequalities are ruining. The thought of beyond your certain space to one na in a living room when you're with them they are your friends but all our lives we've never talked about this despite mm-hmm. knowing that we look very different as friends and our realities are different or just because we have certain things in common mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, it makes it very difficult to talk about so my next question was like how can we talk about this without uh, making it seem so trivial and like um this to you know like you don't want to offend them also in many ways so but i do feel like this these kind of like like sangita said earlier it really private spheres my you can have these conversations quite comfortably i think because um, it's okay to cause yeah. offense in in private spaces yeah. i think i completely agree with sangita in terms of you have to create critical spaces in the public sphere that can mm. challenge these dominant narratives and discourses that are shaping yeah. the minds and the conversations and the op-eds and the yeah. you know the twitter wars and everything so i i feel like maybe public sphere much how do we yeah but but like you said i think yeah. the uh, the our what we keep forgetting is like our education system cause and something which you write about a lot in all of your articles about mm. how the education system nay shapes mm. <laughs> oh, yeah i know to um, our understanding understanding of what Nepal is I just wanted to give an example like you said your own understanding of um, Nepal ko banum na alternative histories ki hun sakte ho hamro desh ko aina hamro samaj ko so i just wanted to this example ki hamro education system ko failure tyan pan dekhincha education system matra haina hamro ghar parivar ma hune conversations pani so i have a friend <laughs> very well meaning friend um <laughs> ani so um she comes from a dominant caste you know ani u chai nepal ko tyo um, elite school ma padera you know bidesh janu bhayo mm. uh, liberal arts dropped her ekdam privilege dripping uh, middle last uh, can middle name <laughs> <laughs> dripping with privilege ala middle name because like oh, oh my god then the realization huncha ni euta umer puge pachi era certain mm. gai pachi tara like you said tyo afno afno the context afno the history te thano da then we were working together and we had to art- we had to write an article translate an article about dalit rights or dalit movement or mm. there was a dalit person so it was an article in uh, nepali so let's say the the, the person's name was um, sanjay bika nepali ma the bor so we got colleagues and the bika and right na अब टू हर इट डिड नट अकर कि इट वाज अ दलित लास्ट नेम भनेर अनि सो उसले नेपाली मा English इंग्लिश में ट्रांसलेट कर उसे सन्जे अब तेल विश्वकर्मा लेख को सट्टा सी जिस रोड बी आई के ए सो एंड देन लाइक एंड देन सी फेल सो बैड दैट सी डिड नो वन तर अब इट गट एडिटेड बट जस्ट अनदर रिमाइंडर कि हम स्कूल में कहीं यो कुछ होते हैं एंड देन यू जस्ट एक्सपेक्टेड टू लर्न अनलर्न एंड देन द सेम पीपल हु कम टू लाइक सोशल गैदरिंग में भेट्दे अभी सुरू करने के कुरा सो वी जस्ट एंड अफ टकिंग अबाउट Common, the common things. <laughs> We don't have much time yeah. with Songita. I really want to talk a little bit about feminism, mm. um, because how would you uh, comment on Nepali feminisms? That's a very difficult question. I know. You know, again, like sort of bringing more of my personal take is like for me, I would say that I would not. call myself feminist mm. had i not um, encountered black feminist yeah. work you mm. know so without like to black feminist literature lay it gave me strength to mm. sort of talk about feminism mm. Mm. otherwise like you know um, without intersectionality i would still very much think about gender as a very important social structure to consider but without sort of intersectional lens i'm not mm. sure that i would consider myself feminist so i sort of begin from that premise on this is a mero education mathew and then when i came to nepal um nepal ma je isu so i think um that's the thing like nepal ma je it's um it's very difficult to escape amro um, euta euta ekdam rigid structures hamro haina hamro hierarchy sa euta um about how different 
people are in different hierarchy. I know, but in Muluki Ain Kukuras on this hall. Uh, two to a document matra boyo, I know, but this could repercussions, it's always there. And you don't mali mirror to English speaking citizen or mapani, to paper mapani bonasu, English speaking Nepali citizen mapani that. School mapani unconsciously people are aware where they fall. Yeah. I know. Ko mathi sa, ko bitza ma sa, ko tala sa. People have that awareness and that caste consciousness is always there. Mm. I know. Mm. Ani caste and gender are like such important categories in society ma, and of course other social categories as well. Mm. But you know that really determines um hamro you know how we are perceived in the society and the kind of access we have and the kind of opportunities we will get mm-hmm. or even if we push through you know aba hamro ma chai asi bhakar mero sath sang discussion bhai rathyo kasto cha bhane aba sorry i'm all get side track boys yeah, yeah, but agi ko conversation lai pani i want to bring in which is hamro ma ki cha ni school ma hudari baun chhetri bhani bitikai padhai ma top that sort of perception aina ekdam chatur whereas janjati bhani bitikai budhu aina padhai ma chaina bigreko tyo narrative aina and tele garda chai those sort of stereotypes create a lot of um tyo internal uh tyo sense of inferiority and that that carries all along you know and what i didn't realize this and what my friend really phrased it is that actually this is intergenerational trauma that mm. is being carried you mm-hmm. know to say like certain groups like you banera you know so in a similar way say, i feel like as an indigenous women as a dalit women as mm. a brahmin women all of them have to a kism ko set of stereotypes or usa that sort of binds them and that sort of like you know informs their outlook to an extent and also informs how society is perceiving them you know so but use is to kism ko variable i know it gonna it'll be very difficult to talk about feminism outer of amro ma se like you know it just gets whittled down to women you know i mean i don't want to say much about this because is ko lagi eloquently like sera tamang um has written you know such amazing papers on this you know so I would, you know, for me, like, um, yeah, that sort of um, intersectional. Theo, uh, about fairy costumes, how many? I would say that you saw the movements are. I say, if I were to analyze it, more than two different movement, like you know, feminist movement or indigenous movement in particular, any of them. I say, if that trend, what I do see is that. Um, uh, there is a lot of like individual uh, individual amruma sathile mer sathile bana thyo ekdam hero banaune culture cha amruma i know so a lot of these movement feminist movement or indigenous movement line here that's i think alikati people's person centric individual centered yeah. bako ki jaso lagcha where um alikati more sort of collective voices mm-hmm. are like that sort of movement building are like mm-hmm. athwa alternative voices are like alikati tolerate na gareko ki jaso lagcha um so yeah i would i would yeah, just yeah. stop there because i also don't want to judge people hunsa yeah. ni because it's not easy to be yeah. part of a movement khali pet ma kei pani na bhai kana afno passion ko rupma matra activism garnu huni dherai hununcha and there are very few who have really stri- you know stuck to their mm. morals ani mm. you know to ekdam garu sa otherwise it's very easy to be co-opted by political parties i know mm. or to go for like funding this ko to afni political economy nai sa hamro mm. mm. activism or ko afni political economy so yeah and increasingly so and this is something like from a very personal point of view i know um i feel ekdam uncomfortable when we push is to type go when when we push is to type go narrative like to break the glass ceiling while a narrative or to um because yeah, of course we need to break the glass ceiling you know that i'm always like it them individual success or individual um achievement like matre am le celebrate gorira that's like you know that's what it means uh to achieve gender equality then you know the yeah. glass ceiling put go last night the ribbon on mills Or like you can just replace the glass ceiling, I know, with a new one. Um, okay, Brigitte, I would have a question, Mate, which is more about um, conversation, kasari gani, right? Um, this Mate, there are so many answers to this question. Jun mali, you know, English speaking Nepali citizen ma, amro mere interlocutors or I interview linda se. There are so many moments of discomfort, okay? discomfort yeah. unease mm. i know um and uh, i've sort of written it in a narrative style so hopefully it'll 
make it a little bit accessible. So I'll get the story form ma uh, deliberately ne lehe kusu where I sort of focus on five six specific narratives. I know. And in schooling, on that say what did they experience? I know. Um, exana interlocutor on unsa who really didn't know what Dalit meant. अभी पची मत यू नो प्लस टू में रियलाइज भर अभी सी गुगल दलित तो एवं नारेटिव लाइक हाउ यू नो द इंटरलॉकेटर इज नाविगेटिंग टू कास्ट डायमेंशन एकजा अर्क इंटरलॉकेटर हो जहाँ से अब जैसे यू नो स्मल थिंग्स लाइक वहाँ अब रेसिडेन्सियल स्कूल में आने हॉली बट हॉलिडे बट फर्क से यू नो द ब्राह्मीण गाइस वुड बी वेरिंग द बाहुन गाइस वुड बी वेरिंग जनई आई थिंक बाहुन छेत्री ने नहीं आने हाला नट सुर सो जनई ला आंथ्यो एंड देन दे वुड कंसिडर कल दम सब जनई गैंग है एंड देन देख खै तिम्रो जन खै तिम्रो जन सो सो तो इंसिडेन्ट्स और समथिंग लाइक मैं गई स्कूल में कसो एकदम तो स्टूडेंट्स सफल करने थो कि सो दे वुड बी एन एन्युअल एक्जाम एंड देन ते पच्चीस लाइक टप थर्टी स्टूडेंट्स वुड बी इन वन सेंसन सो लेट्स ए वन एंड देन ते पच्ची यू नो ए टू करते सेकेंड लास्ट सेंसन में सब भाग लाइक लोएस्ट ग्रेड लियाने अभी सब भाग लास्ट में न्यू स्टूडेंट्स हुव कम सो वेन आई स्टार्टेड माई स्कूल एज वेल लाइक आई वॉज एट द बटम सेंसन अभी एवरी इयर वी हेड टू गिव एक्जाम अभी मूव अप करते जाने हो क्या बट बट अब स्कूल ने के भाषा वी रियली वॉन्ट है अब तो पढ़ाई को आधार में अब जो बड़ी सपोर्ट चाहिए उन्नीर हमें केटर कर मिले तो इसी राख्यों जो कम सपोर्ट चाहिए ते अनुसार वी कैन यू नो मेक रेलिवेन्ट प्रोविजन्स है तर अब तेज के होता हाइराकिकल सीस्टम ने सर्फ क्रिएट्स एटा एको सीस्टम नहीं डेवलप हो पीपल्स आर टकिंग अबाउट हायर सेंसन्स लोअर सेंसन्स है माथि बट तल झर्न इज कंडेम्ड इट्स सीन पर्सिव्ड विथ सेम अस में लाइक एक किसिम को हाइरारकी कास्ट हाइरारकी रिफ्लेक्ट हो बिकज माथि को सेंसन्स में छेत्री बाहुन बड़ी होने और नेवा बड़ी होने है तल को सेंसन्स में जनजाति बड़ी होने सो आई रिटर्न अबाउट द स्टोरीज आई मीन आई I come from similar school, but I never questioned that. I know, my lady. Yeah. But I was good in studies; it was fine for me. You know, mm. I I didn't really question it. I know, yeah. and we had like excellent support. Mm. Amro yeah. class money, friends, everyone like you know doing really well. It was really good education mm. for us, like you know, to an extent. There are parts here as I sort of interviewed about interlocutors. One, go kura mati aba. It sort of scars you for life. Pani kura athi okay. All those sections ma that it it that inferiority complex develop pani. All those things. So I've Included those stories and मेरे सब इंटरलॉकिटर्स को there's always this moment of unease, discomfort, feeling out of place, and I feel like if anyone is ever going through that, you know. Seek um, comfort in that discomfort, okay? Mm-hmm. In a sense that explore that discomfort more. I mm-hmm. know, like don't let it just be like, you know, just brush off no or no. I know, maybe that's like for a general, like you know, um, the, the sense of discomfort. Or like, I'm like them strength could up malinu parsala, and that's mm-hmm. also a feminist practice mm-hmm. that we should not let our emotions be. Push the way. It does it too, boy. You know, and broad sort of. Yeah. So could you yeah. just explain to listeners what you mean exactly by explore that discomfort? You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I think explore that discomfort. As in, sometimes I mean, uh, I'm wrote to feeling our life. We just say, oh yeah, maybe it's me, mm. or maybe you know they didn't intend it that way, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. But if you are feeling certain things, you know, if you are feeling discomfort. It means that something is wrong. Yeah. Like you mm-hmm. know, um, your body, your mind is much more uh, well tuned to the environment, and they can tell you a lot. Your emotions can tell you a lot. Yeah. You know, classic feminist practice that emotions can tell you a lot mm-hmm. about the society that you live in, right? So explore that more. You know, like just don't let it brush off, or just don't be like, yeah, it's just an individual thing. Mm-hmm. It's never an individual thing. I mean, one of the things that Mali you you ta thama present garda se they were very much like. Um, can you do justice to individual narrative? Like, are you just trying to um, sort of re? Are you just trying to interpret their experiences in, you know, your own way? How ethical right. is that? Bunny question, Atiyah, and that's a very good question. I mm-hmm. think some paid researchers are. They should be asked that question. Uh, what I will say is that, as much as we would like to think that we are unique individuals, mm-hmm. um, 
they will, as, you know, usually there's always pattern to our behaviors. Mm-hmm. So, my let's say rather than a person ko story like interpret kani banda, bani taking all these stories and what are the patterns that are coming out? Because what we feel, what we experience, will never just be an isolated event, mm-hmm. or never it, it won't just be about us or you know one particular setting. It will always have a broader story to tell. Mm-hmm. Unsani mm-hmm. so. Yeah, so in in that sense, I would say very important to explore that discomfort, um, and especially for those who think that they are doing critical work. I know mm. I would like to think, okay, yeah, I'm writing all these uh, critical pieces, da da da, or I'm in academia, I'm speaking truth to power. This <laughs> concept or or phrases or But I think to got it on that, but my friend circle, ma, you know, very close friend circle, ma, as we talk about indigeneity, gender feminism, you know, one of my friend um, said a very important thing, which is that you critical thinkers or who are critical calm or subordinate, but we always know what we are against. But yeah. we don't know what we are for. for. That's right? so true. And so important to explore that. Mm. Ani, oily ba amro maze? Yeah, very much against like you. Ekdamay yo, um, uh, ekdamay yo dominant narrative. Once ani oru mm. social difference oru inequalities at ko kure gana na pauni. But what actually are we for? I know, but indigeneity pani yuta concept yo, right? Like what actually are are we for? Like once ani tu ekdam seriously susnu pauni the bela ko susu sulaksa. But I think in terms of conversation, I think um, art tree collect. I think they're doing a fantastic job uh, in terms of like really opening these conversations in a way that is not in your face mm. but that mm. is subtle mm. um, and you Ogi Subhashi Kupani Kurathyo Subhashi Veji Wanku Adivasi Futurism his work you know, really making us think about revival raw futurism yeah. raw contemporary world like Kossari Connect Gone right so I feel like there's so much work to do in mm-hmm. that mm-hmm. Um, yeah so mm. I think that's a great note to end on. And I think this is something that we need to think about too. Yeah. We're against a lot of things, but what are we for, Bhikuti? <sighs> because if we put language to that, then yeah. I think that's like a real true affirmation too. Yeah, but um, it's, yeah. yeah. We'll do homework yeah, on we'll that. Homework. But, 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 <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but thank you so much, Sangeeta, for your time. Yeah. I wish we had yeah. more time yeah, because yeah. there's so much. Maybe we should do like a part two, <laughs> a golf golf with uh, Sangeeta. But yeah. thank you so much for your time. And uh, we will um, put a link to all of Sangeeta's work uh, in the show notes. Yeah. Uh, so thank you so much. And if there is there any way people can follow you on social media? Mm. Um, I I am on Twitter. Yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. So Twitter is mirror public, so uh, so it's uh, uh, at Sangita underscore Thebe. Um, it, people can write me email as well. Um, so um, Sangita dot Limbu at UCL dot AC dot UK. So um, I'm always open to emails. And thank you so much for having me. I'm a frequent listener of the podcast. Yay. So <laughs> I am very very delighted and honored. Um, and yeah, it was great conversation. Thank you for yeah. having me. We wish you all the best for your PhD, completing your PhD. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, good luck You've with done that. Like, okay. yeah, 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 yeah. Thank, Thank you. you so Thank much. Thank you, Sangeeta. And as usual, please uh, follow Boju Baje everywhere, mm. social media. Ma. And I've learned one more thing. <gasps> if you like Boju Baje, please leave a review and tell your friend about Boju Baje. <laughs> okay. Bye. Bye.